Oh. That's an interesting. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 34. There. And Liang, what a chance this is. Why, why didn't he just drop the pink in and secure the frame? I, I think his, his head just sort of went a little bit there because of the previous shot he played, John. Yeah, and he's not thinking straight at the moment. And he's potted a few good Lightly long balls please. in this. In this match, Liang, if he knocks this one in, well, it could be frame and match. And it wobbled its way into the pocket. But that last Five. pink was very strange from, from Ronnie. Just drop it in. And he could pinch the match by just one point here. Nine. Fourteen. Wants to get absolutely plumb on the black to make it straightforward. Needs to bounce 20. off the cushion. No, and this one could be going absolutely dead weight into the pocket. A little bit of pressure on it, as you can imagine, but well, this will be very slow. No! Deciding frame, it's five frames all. Look at the black again. He hit it a little bit harder than he needed, I think. But it's all squared, five frames each. <laughs> you cannot get your breath. Wow. And those of you who remember last year's Masters will remember that final frame decider. Mark Williams against Ronnie. Ronnie came through it and, of course, went on to hammer Barry Hawkins 10 1 in the final. So, okay, thank goodness you. me. The frame. In we go. Liang Wen it's the first break. match of this year's Masters and it's our first decider. And not the best of break off shots. Needs the green to come to his rescue. It's covered that one, but there's one for the right corner. And there was a nice little touch. Liang just smiled and patted Ronnie there before the start of the frame. Oh, the cannon on the black has come to his rescue there because he would certainly have left Liang Wembo in amongst them. Final frame decided, Dennis. I don't know how we are. I mean, there we have another look at this. Why not just play a dead weight? I mean, the first, you know, the first day of the tournament, you know, the cloths are thin, you know, they slide in a little bit. Just drop it in the jaws and let it drop in. Gravity, they're taking that one in. Amazing, and they do very well here. They need some mental fortitude to put that behind him to win the final frame. Should have been all over. hoping to cover this red uh, that's to the left of the blue this cuts into the middle pocket now, wouldn't it be ironic after missing the black of Liang Wambo was to knock this in the cue ball looks as if it's going to career into the pink if this goes in he could open things up the blacks over the pocket but what a big shot Played a very positive shot. He opened the pink and reds up. He's unlucky not to finish on the black here. But after the easy black, he missed to knock the Brandon. defending champion out. That was a great opening red. Yeah, he yeah, certainly was unlucky. One. That was a great pop. But you know what it's like, Dennis, when you miss your opportunities at this game. 
I don't know why we say it, but the snooker gods don't forgive you, do they? Seems like there's your opportunity. You've just missed it. I expect a bad run of the balls because he got one there. That was an excellent pot. Probably the best pot of this match so far. Fully stretched there. You can hear the groan from Ronnie. It's an Four. opportunity and it's not a bad one. I think that red, the closest to the black, well, I should say second closest to the black on the right hand side is available. Just have to be careful, cue ball was always going close to that corner pocket. So this is not 16. an easy pot. Oh, and you've seen the black that Leon Wembo's missed in the last frame, nothing's easy. One player here is a little bit better than, than the other to getting over the line. It's all about experience and he's done it so many times. It's hard to believe that this is his 23rd Masters. He's been six times a champion. He's been runner up on three 22. occasions. He's seen everything there is to see in the game of snooker. Yeah, giving us a little bit of attention. He's come slightly awkward here. I just decided to 23. hold for the black. Originally he was looking whether he was going to stun up for blue, but didn't fancy playing through the gap. wins this uh, deciding frame. They've got a few days off. They won't play again until 30. Thursday. 31. Well, you say whoever wins this game, I think this is all over. I know there's pressure in the final frame here, but he's been given a lifeline and a massive one at that. He knows full well he should have been out of this year's event. And like all the great champions, and there's a couple of them sitting in the studio this afternoon, 38. they know if they ever got a second bite of the cherry. 39. They weren't going to let that go begging. Yeah, and how many times did we see them do it in style, finish with a, a match-winning break? Just taking a little bit of time here to make sure that he doesn't play an unnecessary cannon just to get out of position. Back trying to do it without having to play a cannon and, and take that risk element out of it. 46. Yeah, that's what he was worried about, just snooker himself behind that red. 47. But yeah, like all great champions, he can smell blood. He knows immediately that this was the chance to win a frame and match in a match he should have lost. 54. This will be a very sore one 55. for the Anglin boat. You're lying in bed tonight. I'll be thinking about that black for a long, long time. Yeah, a black that would have knocked out the defending champion. I mean, just a few more pots away 60. from keeping himself 
in this year's Daffabet Masters. This is the 61. first match in the first 6-5. I think you can get used to the idea there'll be many more of them in this year's event. So many good players at top 16. 66. Yeah, you've got to feel a little bit sorry for Liang Wembo. He played so well, lost the two opening frames, come back, and then he won three frames in a row and was just that. One pot away from knocking out Ronnie O'Sullivan. 70. But how well has he taken these, Dennis? You know, final 71. friendly cider. And he's waltzed around the table here like he's in the club. He really is one of the best closers out of matches I've ever seen. And despite not being anywhere near his best. 78. This has been him at his best in the final frame when it matters most. 79. Top class performance in the final frame. 80. Tricky red. 86. Might just finish with that century break. 87. What a time to make your highest break of the match. A frame that takes you 94. into the next round. 96. Sure. Yes, the crowd will be delighted that their favourites have stayed in this year's event. Trust me, there'll be quite a few players that'll be gutted the us. People who this ball. Well, this has been brilliant. Vintage Joe Sullivan in the final oh, frame. I think they're just going to keep on clapping all the way through this break. They might as well keep clapping. 114. Well, you can't take it away from the defending champion, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Big smiles and hugs from his good friend, Liang Wembo, who was just one pot away from knocking out the favourite and the defending champion. But in the end, he did it. As great champions always do it. He did it in style with that magnificent break of 121, and he goes through to the next round, beating Liang Wembo six frames to five. Yeah, a warm embrace between the two players. They are great friends, but what a dramatic let-off for O'Sullivan, and what a way to complete that incredible match.